So in the beginning, you're going to talk to your warm market, right? You're going to talk to your friends and you're going to talk to your family. Those are the people that you need to talk to first. Okay, sometimes people come in, they're like, man, I don't want to sell to my friends and family. Get that out of your head because you have to be, understand, you have to be ready to blow this thing up. And if you believe that you're going to do that and you believe you're going to be successful at this, then why in the world would you not want your friends and family at the top of your organization? Right? There are people that I didn't talk to at the police department when I was getting started, that when they did eventually sign up, they were like, I'm kind of pissed that you didn't talk to me last year. Like everybody and their dog as a coach, but somehow or another, you didn't run this by me. Well, of course, he bears some of the responsibility for not coming to me, but people will use that as an excuse. So what you can do is you can turn that around and you can preemptively strike with that in mind, right? Listen, I just want to run this by you. You know, I, I know that you're busy, but I think this is something that would work for you, and I'm going to kill this. I'm going to blow this thing up, and a year from now, people are going to be amazed at, at how fancy and, and, and highfalutin I am, right? And I don't want you or any of my other friends and family to be able to come to me in a year and say, what the holy heck, why didn't you tell me you were about to build this dynasty? Because I sure would have got in. Right? You want every one of them to be have to come to you and say, man, I should have got in last year, but I'm ready now. Right? You have to remove that excuse from them and go with them, go to them and say, you know what? I want you at the top of my organization. I want you, somebody who I love and I trust and I, and I spend my time with, I want you at the top of my organization in the beginning so a year from now, two years from now, we can be sitting on the deck of a cruise ship, sitting on on a beach, sitting wherever Disney sends us, thinking, man, remember when I first came to you and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm about to do this coaching thing. You should probably check it out. I would love if you would start out with this and, and do this with me from the beginning.